Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for checking out my video today. Um, I do uh, haul videos once a month to those that are new um, and show different geeky things. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, have a variety of, of different items this month. Um, uh, also want to say thank you to everyone that uh, watched my collection, my um, graphic novel collection video. Uh, thank you so much to um, all of you and to those that uh, have subscribed to me. Um, I really appreciate that and it encourages me uh, to keep making videos. So um, here we go. I'll start out with some different figures, um, then move into some collected editions and comics and end with a sketch. So if something doesn't interest you, just skip um, over what doesn't. And uh, if it does, you know, that's great. I appreciate you uh, watching uh, nonetheless. So uh, first up, you'll see some mini epic figures. I've had the Gandalf from Lord of the Rings uh, for about a year, and I was pretty happy with him just to have something from Lord of the Rings, and almost bought some here and there, never did. And then I found the Frodo in a second Charles, and just thought he was terrific, and um, had to get him. Um, I had been watching the Gimli on eBay, so I got Gimli and Legolas from eBay. Uh, and just, they're fantastic. There's um, such detail in them. I'm going to go ahead and start moving some out of the way. Um, but if you're fans of the movie, um, there's just so much little things about them. Uh, to me, they're definitely in the style of a movie. That they almost seem like something between the book and movie. Um, and so here's a closer shot of Gimli. Um, absolutely love them. I... I want to at least get the fellowship, uh, and then maybe a few more. They're they're so good. I did see where they're gonna have a smog come out. So if I get a smog, I'm gonna have to get a Bilbo, you know, and uh, just keep going with them. But they're very nice. Um, got a a couple of McFarlane DC figures. First is the Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman. Um, he was a must-have for me from the line. Um, he is just absolutely amazing and perfect from uh, the comic counterpart. Um, so I found him on, on Target's website one day and just immediately ordered him. Um, also, I picked up uh, Damian Wayne Robin. Just kind of happened upon him. I think he's a, he's a new one. And I like Damian Wayne. Um, he's probably not my favorite Robin, but I do I do like him and what he brings to the Batman mythos. But my biggest reasoning for wanting him is because I hope we get a Jonathan Kent to go alongside him so I can have a little Super Sons display. All right. Um, I also, I used to be a big Transformers collector. I still love Transformers, but I sold about 90% of my collection a few years ago. And every once in a while, I'll see something like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wish I had it. Um, but never enough to buy them. Every once in a while, you know, I got a reissue blaster last year. And, um, but these studio figures, and especially the ones for the animated movie from 86, are just absolutely amazing. Um, here's Cup. And he's just spot on to um, the animation and how he looked in the movie. So, very glad to have him. And then... I happened upon two other figures. I haven't even opened them yet, but a Scourge that looks just like he does in the movie. So great. And last, a Hot Rod. So fantastic. And I kept, um, when I did my big sell-off, I kept a lot of my Hot Rod figures, including Masterpiece Hot Rod. Um, but I had to have one that was like, in scale with the other movie figures I and mean, he's just terrific so all right i picked up uh, a few pops i'll show them real quick um i got h from ready player one um this was a second charles fine for three bucks so i had to grab him um found a young magneto at walmart i believe he's a variant because he's not advertised on the packaging the older magneto is he was on clearance for four dollars so i had to get him and if you've seen my last couple haul videos i've been tracking down the turtles ninja turtles i found all of them 
Um, and then I came across a Casey Jones, so I had to get him too. And last pop is a Soundwave pop. Uh, Soundwave is one of my favorite Transformers, so I had to pick him up. Um, I don't know if I'll get the other Transformer pops just because you don't have Transformers of them, but I couldn't pass up on Soundwave. All right, um, if you've been waiting for some comics, here we go. Um, I got volumes one and two of Rose by Meredith the Finch. So volume one, The Last Light, and volume two, Ghosts. And this has been on my to buy list for a while and uh, found a good deal on, on the pair on eBay. Uh, and this is fantastic read. Um, I know there's a volume three out there, so I'll have to get it. I'm not sure if there's anything else, um, whether the book was concluded or canceled i'm not sure so all right then a couple more um books i picked up first was batman gothic deluxe edition found that at ollie's for five bucks so uh really pleased with that price there um i also got volume five of the new 52 swamp thing i'm sorry volume six um and filling in some holes trying to get that whole run and also from Ollie's is Asriel Volume 1, uh, Fallen Angel. Uh, four bucks, man. Just a great price on that. Um, pleased to have it. I have an older copy of Sword of Asriel, so I'm happy to have a little bit better version of that, that story. Um, and last book is the OHC of uh, Bendis' run on Uncanny X-Men. I actually have no X-Men books. I love X-Men. I love the movies. Love the 90s animated show, but there's just so much um, X-Men material. It's hard to know what to start with. And this may not be the best run, but I couldn't pass on it for being $5. And uh, the team on the cover looks awesome. So we'll see. This may not be the best jumping on spot, but can't pass a good deal. All right, I got two, two big things left. Um, I got one uh, CGC book. Um, not from CGC, but just from eBay. Um, I've been looking for this book for a while, and um, it either gets listed for really expensive, like almost any version of it does, any, I'm mean, sorry, any grade, and uh, there's just not a whole lot. You find the variants pretty easily, but not um, not this cover, and that's, of course, Flashpoint number one at a 9.4. Um, very pleased to have this. Just Just wanted it. In my collection, um, just the iconic nature of what it is and what it meant to the DC Universe and to Flash and the introduction of Thomas Wayne. I mean, just it's just a fantastic book, and I'm very, very happy to have it. All right, I got one thing left. I got one sketch. Um, in this month, I'm on, a, I'm on a couple of lists and have some different sketches coming, um, and this was, this is one I've been wanting for a while, and uh, opportunity came up and uh, had to jump on it and that is a Mike Grell um, Green Arrow head sketch and it's just fantastic it's 11 by 17 so I'm having a little trouble getting in the frame uh, pencil sketch which is just perfect since he was um, the penciler uh, on pencil line writer I believe on that Green Arrow run and uh, I love that run so I'm very happy uh, to have a sketch from him so um anyway that is most of it i probably got something else but uh that's all i'm going to put in the video so if you made it to the end uh thank you so much again for watching for subscribing uh for liking my videos i really appreciate it and if you would give this video a like and um i'll keep putting out more content so thanks so much i hope everyone has a great night